Highnesses, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very, very good morning on what is the first official day of World Government Summit here at Dubai Expo 2020. And the title of this session, Are We Ready for a New World Order? Well, the organisers here are nothing if not ambitious. This is, I think you will agree, a daunting subject for discussion at just after 9 a.m. on a Wednesday morning here in the relative calm of Expo 2020. But tackle it, we must, because I believe what is clear is that we have hit an inflection point. We are certainly living in a unique age of uncertainty and volatility in global affairs. Whether you are from the global north or the global south, we have all collectively lived through the twilight zone that was the pandemic and the changes to our social, our digital and our fiscal landscape that COVID-19 wrought. And just as the world re-emerges from the pandemic, we are faced with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which certainly feels like a transformative geopolitical moment. Coming as that does against a backdrop of great power struggles, the emergence of middle powers, of climate crisis and cybersecurity challenges, the trend lines certainly seem to indicate a world headed in a disorderly direction. Your Excellency, are you ready for a new world order? I think, uh, Becky, the, pro the main problem is uh, if you think of the technology, the technology is 21st century, 22nd century technology. What is happening in AI, what is happening uh, everywhere really that will really transform and is transforming our lives and also transforming uh, international relations. But I think the, uh, the frame of thinking is still 19th century. I think this is one of the problems that we have in the international system. Where if you look, we are still, it's still about nationalism, it's still about state sovereignty, it's still about use of force or non-use of source, a force. And I think this is one of the major, major issues. As, uh, we try to, uh, to bridge really what is mentally uh, you know, governing international relations with the 19th century mode of thinking, but at the same time with technology fast, fast ahead of us and the curve. That I think will be a major problem. That's a very interesting perspective. Fred Kemp, your assessment. 